We have object snaps in AutoCAD, but well, they're only temporary, right? What if we could apply some basic rules to our geometry that stayed with our geometry and consequently helped us dramatically speed up the editing process? Uh, maybe you have two walls, it should always be perpendicular, or a circle, it should always remain concentric to an arc. Well, this is actually much easier seen than explained, so let's take a look. So on the screen, I have two slots. They are actually identical, and I'm just going to highlight these so you can see. They're made up of individual lines, arcs, and circles. Well, let's say I wanted to edit the lower slot. I wanted to make it longer. Well, how would I do that? Well, I could use grips to do that. I'm going to come in and make two hot grips. And for those of you who don't know how to do that, if I hold down the shift key, that's how I can do that. And now let me go ahead and grab this. Oh, oh. Oh, it's not working, right? It loses its tangency. It's just, it's not working. Oh, that looks like a box. It's not working at all, right? Not easy to manipulate that. Well, what if I want to make it wider? Let me try it again. I'm going to come in here and I'll even grab the circles in there. I'm going to try to make it a little bit wider. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make two hot grips. And let's pull it up. Oh, that seems to be working. Oh, but the circles stayed where they were at. They're no longer concentric to the arc. That's also not what I wanted. So I'd have to do a fair amount of editing to correct that to make it better, or I'd probably just start all over again if it got to be too complicated, right? All right, let's put those back. Let's concentrate on the top slot. Now I'm going to make the top slot on the screen much smarter than the lower one. To do that, I'm going to go to the parametric tab, and I'm going to add some geometric constraints, which sounds kind of intimidating. Sounds a little scary. I promise you it's much easier than it sounds. I'm going to use this fabulous tool that says Auto Constraint. I'm going to put a window around the top slot, and you will see all of these little icons show up. But what are those? These are geometric constraints. I want you to think of them like persistent object snaps. Object snaps are just temporary. These guys stick with the geometry and force it to follow some rules. So here I have, these lines have to always be parallel. This line and this arc are tangent. This circle and this arc are concentric. There's some rules that have been placed on my geometry, and this one right here just happens to be horizontal. If you move your cursor around, it tells you what you're looking at, just so you know. All right, I'm going to add one more geometric constraint, my favorite one, which happens to be equals. I want the two circles to always be the same size because it wouldn't make any sense for me to have one of the holes be a different size from the other. Just hit one of the circles, hit the second one, and that will force that rule onto those two circles. All right, now if it's intimidating to you to see all those icons on there, you can turn them off. I'm going to do a hide all. And now both of the slots look exactly the same, except the one on the top has a much higher IQ. Let's see what happens when I go to edit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to lengthen it. Let's see what happens when I go to lengthen it. Ah, oh, that looks great. That was easy, wasn't it? It kept it horizontal. It didn't actually change the angles, and it moved the circle with it. I like that. That looked pretty easy. Let's move it back. Pretty easy. I like that. I only had to hit one object because there's so many rules on the geometry, it knows that everything else needs to follow. What if I want to make it wider? No problem. Let's go ahead and just grab the arc. I'm going to change the radius of the arc to make it wider, and I only selected the one object. It's not a polyline. These are still individual objects, and you will see that, sure enough, it makes the slot wider. And look at the circles. It kept the circles concentric with the arc. That's huge, right? That saves me from having to do miscellaneous editing on it. And just for fun, let's say I want to change the size of one of the circles. I'll go ahead and just use my grips to do so. Now watch as I edit one of them, the other one automatically changes size as well. Very, very powerful. Absolutely love the new geometric constraints inside of AutoCAD 2010. You will find that this is going to cut your editing down probably by half.